Hello friends, welcome back. And there are many like theme functionality. So if you go to the theme functions, so uh, here also there are multiple uh, register menus, loading a load of the tax domain, internal internationalization and everything you can do. We have seen the uh, supports for the post thumbnail, post formats, and there are multiple theme supports you can provide, right? So you can go through this. Um, uh, documentation to learn more about it and there are some other additional theme functionality as well so if you go to the classic themes okay so in the classic theme you can see about the uh, theme functionality okay and these are the core supported features so in core supported features you can have um, let me administration menus which you have seen right add menu page object page sub menu page and there are multiple administration menus you can you can use okay this is i think backend related um but then custom headers right so using the custom header you can provide multiple uh, headers and background color and all the options right using the custom uh, header so that uh, in the customizer where user will have that setting to set the custom header including background color text color anything and th those thing can be uh, you can use in uh, sorry you can implement into into your team okay so you can go through all these uh, handbook pages uh, after watching this video and learn more about it about custom logo as well there are post formats we have talked about so there are multiple post formats so you can check all the type of post formats and the descriptions and you can use it so you can these are the functions you uh, you can go through it and everything okay um, then sticky ports so if you go here into the front end so this is a template sticky okay so this these are the like the sticky posts are the display at the top of the all the posts okay after that our pagination will be started so you can create multiple sticky posts which will be display always at the top okay so similar like in the twitter we have that uh, tweet like we can um, we can pin the tweet so in uh, in our profile that tweet will be displayed always as a first similarly um, that a sticky post which will be always display uh, at first okay um, no matter like when it's it would have been created okay um, so yeah and uh, uh, that's all about sticky post here how how you can make a sticky post how you can display how you can ignore in the wp query all things you can learn from this documentation okay handbook page um, then there are sidebars we had learned about sidebars right how to register a sidebar what are the arguments are there always you can go through the functions definition into the wordpress core files to learn more about what are the arguments and understanding about it is there any filters provided or not so much information we can get from the wordpress code itself okay so you can go through this as well uh, and then widgets we we have learned about widgets right so these are the things and this is the user interface for the legacy widgets currently which is replaced by the block editor right um then the navigation menus we have talked about right then paginations media you can also have a, a media size and all the information this is the uh, audios and galleries so wordpress also provide a uh, blocks gallery blocks and also provide the short code so uh this short code also you can use to display the uh, media uh, which you uh, user have been uploaded uh, uploaded uh, on the site okay so you can learn more about it as well and these are the and another is like a featured image so we have already support a featured image we can also have a custom thumbnail size right so if you go to um, here into the set post thumbnail you can see this function set post thumbnail size and they have provided this thumbnail size here right so this is this is the thumbnail size we can create and it's called add image size so this image sizes is like uh, when user upload the media it will also create some of a uh, same image with the different sizes into the upload directory okay and that those images can be used um into the front end okay because like we don't have like for example we have uploaded a 4k image or or 1080p resolution of the image right and if you want to display into into the some area like into the sidebar or into the footer we are not going to display the full image or full image resolution right it could be 300 by 300 or 600 by 400 or any any uh, size and those image sizes we can register using the add image size function okay and then we can retrieve that and when the user upload the image then wordpress will create that size of the image 
uh, into the uploads directory okay so those functions you can find it out here add email size and everything so if you go to um, the uploads directory let me just go to the uploads directory here in the 228 so this is the main file okay so this is the main file 100 underscore 5478.jpg file and you can see uh, this email sizes are created right all this 150 by 150 300 by 225 all these email sizes right and this is the naming convention this is the our main file name then hyphen then the size like height in width into the height um, and then the file extension okay and based on these sizes wordpress will identify this which file uh, image file have to load into the front end okay and also you can manage these image sizes from the settings and then uh, media you can define the thumbnail size medium size and the large size okay um so and, and apart from these three image sizes which provided by the wordpress core and you can set these dimensions from here but additionally you can also add image sizes uh, using this add image size function okay so if you go uh, if you go here into the let me just close this file first quickly okay so if you go here add image size it will store into the additional image size and it will just uh, get what what is the width height and then crop and the uh, size name so like when we have to register a uh, fetch the particular image size then we don't have to give a give the width and height we have to just provide a like name what is the name of that size okay and that's that you can that we can use right so if you just go here uh for the uh, default thumbnail there, there is a post thumbnail for the large and for the medium there is a large and medium thumbnail size and any other custom image size you can provide that name and then you can use that image size name to and to you to ask wordpress that okay please render or return the image url of that size if it's created if it's exists then it will return as it will return the full image okay so this way we can have um we can have the separate separate um, uh, thumbnails like thumbnail medium medium large so using this function you can render um, the all the medium resolution large resolutions and everything and this image size is very very useful in terms of responsiveness and to avoid the performance issues where we want to display the image into the some con div content like 300 by 300 and in that we have we are displaying the 1080p resolution the full image then it will definitely take more time right what because if the image resol resolution is higher image size is also increased like the file size right so from this doc handbook page you can learn more about this uh, featured images the sizes and what are the functions we can use to fetch the like image information sam rating okay so yeah and these are the source files you can go through it okay so let me just copy this quickly go to the here i am vs code editor i'm opening this file so this file have the wordpress post thumbnail template functions okay so if you go to the outline collapse so these are the functions uh, you can see has post thumbnail whether the post have that uh, post have the thumbnail image set or not you can go get the thumbnail id as well the attachment id right the post id uh, get post thumbnail url and everything so these are the functions you can go through it as well okay um yeah so like uh, if you're new to the WordPress theme development and you don't have you don't know much about the functions then always try to search um, into the WordPress handbook uh, or into the WordPress core files about whether those functions already exist or not instead of creating your own custom solution there will be like mostly their their functions are there available into the WordPress course to use so always try to find it first and if not then you can create your own function okay so that's another base practice i could say um yeah so there are multiple um theme functionality out there so you can go through it this theme handbook documentation and you can learn more about it right so this is like my main idea is about giving the overview about theme functions.psv file and the functionality and what we can do into the theme like what are the wordpress core features are there how we can use that and uh, allow users to manage the front uh, content into the front and the layout designs and everything okay and we will learn more about it as well in uh, in upcoming videos okay so please go through after watching this video please go through the all the functionality features also uh, refer the 2021 team as an example which will be a very good very good initial entry point to learn more about it instead of creating the 
like custom theme um, but once you are like un- feel comfortable okay now you you have much more idea about theme development then you can start developing the theme or uh, creating the theme okay so you can do a step by step right so yeah um, thanks for watching this video uh, i hope this is this video is very useful for you in terms like know about theme functionality and everything yeah see you on the next one jai wordpress